Good afternoon, folks. Um, I had no plan whatsoever to do a live podcast this, this afternoon. Absolutely no plan. But George Weir folds my hands through Calasco. And so they will pay the consequences for forcing my hands to do an afternoon video. One that I had absolutely no intention to do. You know, when somebody makes you do something you didn't want to do, right? And they have to pay the consequences. You made me do this video and you will regret it. You know, for Seku Kalasko Damaro, George Weas Pudo to go on Facebook two hours ago and to post that we who have exposed the government's plan hmm, to increase surcharges on voice calls and data, we are lying. Yeah, for Seku to have said that, for Kalasko, that we are the liars. When in fact, this matter is in the courts at the Supreme Court, when in fact, this matter or I sue the government in court in an attempt to block the evil plan by we are to jack up data rates and voice calls. A few days ago, a few days ago, the Supreme Court ruled that the government may proceed, may proceed to increase to carry out the new surcharges, to implement the new regulation. Then Calasco opened him up. I'm waiting for the video to hit a thousand views. You know, normally that's what we do. I'm sorry, I, I, I'm just so worked up and, and, I, and I, can't wait to, I can't wait to deal with them for provoking me to do an afternoon live podcast that I had no intention was ever to do. So let this video hit um, 1,000 views so that I may go ahead and... Uh, 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 I may go ahead uh, 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 and uh, uh, um, and do this. So yeah, hit like, hit a thousand views. You know, Facebook apparently uh, is is giving some issues again because uh, a lot of people are not getting the notifications that they used to get, and uh, they are complaining about it, and that is a problem. It affects our our viewership. And uh, because people have to get a notification so they know we're on and that way they can tune in to watch. But I'm pretty sure George Weir has certainly gotten a notification because Calasco was tagged in this video. He did the post. Calasco, most of the times when you see him post, he's not posting by himself. Uh, we are telling him what to post. That is the way it works with them. So help share this video. Uh, customarily, we wait until he has a thousand views before we begin to talk. And uh, and I have to address this particular issue. Let let me just come out and say, if 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 you don't want this protest to happen, just issue a statement and say that you're not going to do this thing anymore. That's all. Just issue the damn statement already, and say you're not going to do it. That you were joking. Just say you were joking. Yeah, we will live. We we can live with that. Tell us you were making fun. Hard joke. Then we'll live with that. You damn stupid fools. Eh? You're ripping us off. You just added 30 cents uh, uh, on gas to levy, a 30 cents additional levy. Eh? And, and, and you say, then, then, then you want to increase data. Do you know what it means when you add 30 cents on gas? 30 cents on gas means the price of, uh, of, 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 of uh, the pump price of gas goes up. It means that uh, the movement of people, transportation goes up. When transportation goes up, what does that do? It affects the prices of goose. It affects people moving from point A to point B. It drives up everything. That's how very essential uh, petroleum is. Petroleum affects everything. When when you increase when you increase the price of gas, you are increasing everything else concomitantly. As a result of that, consequently, you are increasing the price of food. You are increasing the price of uh, the cost of doing business and everything goes up. And you chose to do that during the coronavirus crisis. Eh? 
what does Carrasco want to say about that one too? The president just levied a 30 cents tax on gas. You want me to read the president's letter? Let me go read it because this stupid idiot does not, does not know. So let me, let me go read the letter. So you see, he wrote the letter to the legislature in which he increased the price. Increased the price of gasoline. Yes, yes, that's what he does. That's what he did. He increased the price. This is the president's communication, folks. This is the president's communication right here. This is the president's letter. He wrote this communication to the legislature. And what did he say to them? He lists a couple of things. Hmm? Whereas the president of the Republic of Liberia, Excellency George M. Weir Sr. on May 15, 2020, submitted the fiscal year 2019-2020 uh, COVID-19 recast budget to the legislature for consideration. Then he goes further. Recalling that a global pandemic which engulfed the world, threatening lives of millions, the lives of millions of people and killing thousands, Liberia as a participant in a global setting has seen an increase in the number of COVID-19 cases, thereby justifying the declaration of the state of emergency. Then he writes further. Cognizant that the onset of COVID-19 has threatened and derailed the budget ex execution with several vari uh, variables, including the overall uh, reduction in aggregate demand and a delay in the implementation of key tax policy measures underpinning the revenue projections and its attending consequences, and acknowledging that this global pandemic has created extra budgetary conditions in the economy of Liberia, which necessitate a recast of the fiscal year 2019-2020 national budget with fiscal measures. Now listen, COVID-19 did not cause your budget to be full, to, 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 to do a recast. COVID-19 did not force you, did not necessitate you to do a recast. Your damn incompetent finance minister and your stupid fool self as president, it is your incompetence that led to you having to do a recast. It is not COVID-19, you damn liar. You had already projected before COVID-19 that you were going to experience a $119 million shortfall in your budget. Don't lie on COVID-19. With or without COVID-19, your budget would have experienced a shortfall. You bloody liar. You lie by every damn thing. So yeah, so he writes further. Now, therefore, it is resolved by the Senate of the Republic of Liberia in legislature assemble. Listen, number one. The amount of $500, $518 million is hereby approved as, as the COVID-19 recast national budget for the fiscal year 2019-2020. Even this $518 million budget, they will not meet that, this target. This target will not be met. They will still not raise $519 million in total at the end of the budget period. They will, they will not. He writes further. Number two, that in order to protect the revenue of Liberia, there shall be the imposition of excise tax of 30 United States cents per gallon of petroleum products sold on the Liberian market and which shall become effective immediately. Hello? 30 cents is in this thing. I didn't write it. He added 30 cents on gas. In the face of a national public health crisis, global, with catastrophic effects on the Liberian people. Woeful increased poverty. This is when he chose to increase the price of gas. Does he not know that when you increase the price of gas, you, in, you thereby increase the cost of transportation, the cost of commuting from point A to point B, the cost of moving goods and services? Do you not know that it affects the overall living conditions of the people? Do you need to be lectured on that? But he does not care. Instead of alleviating or mitigating the, 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 the unexpected hardship on the people or increased hardship, you are instead doing the opposite by increasing the hardship. This is what he did, 30 cents. The second thing he did, that for the centralization of the collection of all government revenues, there shall be a revision of existing laws Relating to the Maritime Authority and the Liberia Telecommunications Authority to ensure that 100% of all revenues accruing to these entities, therefrom are put in the national. You see what he did? He changed the law. He changed the LTA law. This is how Ivan Brown lost his job. 
Alfred Brown was against it. He went to the legislature on on uh, on Wednesday last week and said he was against it. He changed the law to take away all of Maritime's money, all of LTE's money. But that's their damn business. I don't I don't care. That's their money any any anyway. I don't really care about that. But here is my issue. You've done all of these things. You've, you've gotten $50 million from the IMF as a loan that we, the Liberian poor, are going to have to pay. You've added 30 cents to gasoline. The cost of transportation is going to go up. You've done this. You've done that. Are you not satisfied, Mr. Weir? Do you have to do more than that? Do you want to, after doing all of these things, increase the price of the cost of data and the cost and, and the price of, of making phone calls? Do you want to do that? I mean, are you not satisfied? Have you not done enough to these people? These poor people struggling in this very most difficult period? Have you not done enough? Then Calasco writes on Facebook and says, and that it, 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 let me read a post that idiot called Calasco wrote. And, 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 and by the way, the reason I'm pissed because every time Calasco does a post such as that, it must come from George Weir. This is what Calasco posted some three hours ago. The rumors about plans to increase telecommunication taxes are misleading lies coming from the usual suspects. It is just another failed propaganda. I can tell you that this, that that is a big lie. Now, you see how the assholes don't respect themselves? Hmm? Excuse my language, folks. This asshole, George Weir and his people. The people have no freaking integrity. They lie about everything. Yeah, we have proof. The case is in court. Orange is trying to block the government from implementing this new surcharge or these surcharges on voice and data. Yet they are denying it. What kind of government would deny such a thing? The case is in court. The evidences are there. That they are fighting to increase. Okay, this invoice that Ivan Brown Submitted to the, top, the phone companies. Where did this invoice come from? If it is a lie. Hmm? Galasco say it is a lie. Ivan Brown submitted to Orange. This is an invoice, folks. This is an invoice. For $2.5 million in the month of March. Who wrote this invoice? The companies have not even implemented the new surcharges, and they are already submitting invoices to them to pay. The companies have not even implemented the surcharges, and they are already submitting invoices to them to pay. The invoice to Loomstar Salemtian. Hmm? Who sent that invoice? Calasco. This invoice. What do you see here? This invoice was submitted. Oh man, how do I hold this phone so you see this invoice? This invoice was submitted and received. Yeah, yeah. By Lone Star Salemtian. It was received, it was signed for at 9.06, 9.06 a.m. on the 28th of April, 2020. This is, this, this is it right here. Folks, this invoice. What, how do I do this thing? I want you to see this thing. Huh? This invoice was signed for on 9.06 a.m. This invoice, the, the, the amount for this invoice is 1 million. Folks, hold up. 1 million. 63,286.43 cents. Who submitted this invoice? Where is Calasco? Who submitted the invoice? Is this in, the invoice? Is it not from, from uh, LTA? You, you submit an invoice for the people to pay you $2.5 million for uh, 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 Orange and $1 million to $3,000 from uh, Lone Star Cell. And the company said to you, how can you submit us invoices for something we have not collected? I have a letter here from the Senate. Hmm? I have a letter here from the Senate. They wrote the Senate this. I have this communi communication. You, you see here? Yeah? I have this letter from the Senate. Who submitted the invoices? You bloody liars. You submitted invoices for monies that had not been collected. 
You demanded the phone companies to pay you money. You see why I cost these people, folks? Do you now understand why I, I can cost these people? I mean, for Calasco, the special assistant to the president, eh, to go on Facebook and say it is a lie, the government does not plan to increase surcharges, it is a bloody lie, it's a propaganda. You see why I cost these assholes? Asshole, George, we are. I told you. You made me do a video in the afternoon when I had no intent whatsoever to do one. Therefore, you had it coming. You provoked this. So, we simply got up and we want to make noise that they're trying to increase data rates and voice call rates. Is that what you're insinuating? You stupid fool. Eh? What's wrong with these people? Why do you lie about everything? But you know why they're lying now? Let me tell you why they're lying. Because they're scared. They're not going to do this shit no more. They're scared. Because we'll shake that town. And we are ready. We are still going to do the protest. We're not announcing a date. We're not announcing a venue. We will do the protest. We're not writing for a permit. We're not asking for a venue. Nothing. Nothing of the sort. We're going to do. We will stage the protest. My, my people, yo, why do these people lie so much? Eh? Why do they lie so much? Why do they have to lie about everything? For Kalasco to say that it is a bloody lie. That nobody increasing anything. Oh, you scared of the protest, you stupid fools? Now you scared of the protest? That's why you are denying them? Hey, oh, no. We're not, the, we will, the only reason why this protest will not happen is unless the LTA issues a statement. Or the Ministry of Information or the Executive Manager, you issue a statement setting, saying clearly that you will not increase data rates and you will not re increase voice call rates. But when you don't do that between the now and the time we are planning to do our protest, we know the date, but we're not telling you. We will do our protest. What kind of nonsense is this? Huh? What kind of nonsense is this? Uh, Mr. Philip Wiki Do Senior, I published this document ever since. It's been out there. It's, it's, it's on Facebook. Mo Ali Jam posted them again. The documents are out there. They wrote these invoices asking for millions. In fact, let me read a joint letter for you. I did this podcast on May 20, 23rd. I put all these documents out. Then, why do they lie about every damn thing? That is my problem with them. Why do they have to lie about everything? There's a letter Adam Brown wrote to the companies on May, May the 5th. Telling the companies about their non-compliant posture. This is from Ivan Brown. You see the LTA logo? Let me zoom in. Ivan Brown wrote this letter to the phone companies, threatening them. Huh? This is what he wrote to Mr. Kulibali, the CEO of Orange. May 5, 2020, Mr. Mamadou Kulibali, Chief Executive of, of Officer Orange Liberia, Mamaruba, Liberia. Dear Mr. Koulibaly, the Liberia Telecommunications Authority has received with grave concern your 30th April 2020 joint communication with Lusa Salem team. You know what he said? They received a letter with grave concern. Yeah? Then you read, then you write for that. Your express intent to assume a non-compliant posture because the company said, we're not paying you no freaking money. The company saw him. We're not paying you no, no money. Eh? That's what the company said. We're not paying you no freaking money. You come here, you're stupid CDC, you want to talk nonsense, I will just cut you off. Eh? So he wrote this, he wrote this letter. He said, This is why he told the people, your express intent to assume a non-compliant posture while at the same time threatening to disrupt telecommunications in Liberia during this period of national emergency is ill-advised and may be considered a threat to national security. This is Ivan Brown. The idiot that was recently suspended by George Weah, writing the phone companies and threatening them that their action is tantamount to undermining national security. That their action is a threat to national security because the phone company said, Mr. Brown, we are not going to pay you any money because we did not level these new charges. We did not implement these sir, charges or so we did not collect any money. We're not going to pay you. Orange said to them, we're not going to pay you 2.5 million. 
Lungsa sell MT and said, we're not going to pay you $1,000,000 because we did not listen to you. Because our customers cannot afford. Your citizens cannot afford. So that's why we did not do it. Then he wrote them back and said, your non-compliant posture. Eh? Your non-compliant posture. You, you refuse to comply. You don't want to pay the money. And you are threatening national security. Can you imagine this? These are the people who Calasco is sitting there and telling you that it's a bloody lie that the government did not intend to increase a, 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 a surcharges. Eh? You lie, you write all these communications. The case is in court. Then Calasco lies because he works for a stupid belly goat of a president who has no integrity that he must lie about every damn thing. I told you, you made me do this podcast. And so you will feel the consequences of making me do this podcast. This is what Adam Brown said. Then at the end of the letter, this is what Adam Brown writes to people. Orange Liberia is encouraged to carefully review the terms and conditions of your license. Hey, if you are a tenant or a renter in the property and your landlord jacks up the rent by 300% and you tell your landlord you cannot afford to pay, then he writes you and says, hey, beware. Go back and read the terms of your lease agreement because I can revoke your lease. You see, what does Adam Brown say to the companies? Mind you, we encourage you to read. He says, be assured. Listen, that's what Adam Brown said. Orange Liberia is encouraged to carefully review the terms and conditions of your license. The relevant provisions of LTA rules, orders, and regulations in the Telecommunication Act in order to remain within the boundaries of established compliance and grievance revolution procedures. You're threatening the people because the people refuse to levy a new charge on your people? So you're threatening them? Yeah? Please be assured that the LTA will continue to monitor Orange Liberia's compliance and take all appropriate actions to enforce compliance. You see this? If your landlord writes you and says, beware, go read the terms of your agreement. Failure to do so, we will do it. And you, a, a, a stupid fool, Calasco writes on Facebook, that is a bloody lie, that there was no plan to, in, to increase data charges. What's wrong with these people? Why haven't you got a, a, an ounce of integrity and credibility? Why do you have to lie about everything? Because you're scared now, you bunch of idiots. You're scared now because we say we're going to protest. Insurgent-style protest. We will take you by a surprise. You will wake up one morning and there will be roadblocks everywhere. No car will move. We will overwhelm you. The damn police with their one water truck will not be able to stop us. Their, 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 their tear gas uh, 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 um, guns and the canisters, which most of which are already expired, will not be able to stop us. And so now you're trying to walk it back? Is this how you walk it back, you bunch of damn stupid fools? Is this how you walk it back? So now you go and say, no, nobody's trying to increase anything. Who wrote the damn letter, you stupid fool, Calasco? Who wrote this letter? Who threatened the telco companies? Who told the MNOs that if they don't comply, they must be reminded to review the terms and conditions of their licenses? Because Orange told them, if you force us to do this, we might have to revisit our or reevaluate our investment in your country. That's what Aaron Brand deemed as a threat to national security. Because Oran said, if you compel us to do this, which we know would be harmful to us, our sustainability as companies here, it would affect your people because we look at the analytics that people cannot afford as it is, and you want to increase this thing exponentially, we might have to review our investment. This is what prompted Mr. Ivan Brown to write a letter. Mind you, you are threatening us, the damn fool. Ivan Brown is a damn stupid fool. He deserved what he got. He threatened the phone companies and charged them with, with what undermining national security. These idiots can get through our charges. That's what you have been doing the war. You know, the rebel then grab you, they won't kill you, they just throw a charge, right? They just throw a charge. Oh, you you, you are conspiring with dissident. Oh, you are this. You are this, uh, dissident collaborator. Taylor didn't to do it during the war. When Taylor was in power, that was the biggest charge they would put on you during the war years. Hmm? Iron Brown threatens the phone companies with 
consequences of posing a national security threat, threatening to have their, re their licenses brought up for review? Are you freaking kidding me? Orange is a global company. They're worth several billions of dollars. So is MTN. You think they need this tight ass market called Liberia? You are an infinitesimal in terms of dollars and cents, an infinitesimal piece of their pile. Their pile is massive, it's a big ass pile. Your country, you nothing. They can pull out and it would mean absolutely nothing to them. Absolutely nothing. Who the hell are you? LTA director and chairman of the LTA in a, in a shithole country, Liberia, and you're threatening global companies. Threatening them with national security. Then Kalashnikov goes on Facebook and go right rubbish. That's why I say you made me do this video. Hmm? So you deserve, because I know, Judge Bia has such low self-esteem that it hurts him when you, when you don't talk to him in a befitting way as president. You talk to him in this manner, it hurts him. But you provoke me. You made me do this podcast. I have no intent whatsoever. Had I not seen that post that you made in which you call us liars, you accuse us of fake propaganda, that you are planning to do what we know you're planning to do. What evidence shows you're planning to do? What had the companies not been dilly-dallying, going to court, finding ways to, to not do this? You would have done it ever since. By now, the Liberian people, most of them would not be able to afford to go online or to even make voice calls. And you damn stupid idiots have the audacity to go on Facebook and talk rubbish? Because now you are afraid that we're going to protest against you. That's the one thing you're afraid. This insurgent style protest will take you by surprise. I am giving you an ultimatum as the chairman of the COP. If your government does not issue a statement from the LTA stating in no uncertain terms, unequivocally, unambiguously, that the government does not intend or will no longer proceed with its plan to levy new surcharges, our protest will happen. And this ultimatum has a time frame. I'm giving you 48 hours. Within 48 hours, you do not issue an official statement from the LTA. You will have yourself to blame. Bye, you damn stupid fools. Belly good of a president.